Hi everyone, welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. I am prepping for a new segment. I thought I would bring you along. Here's what we're gonna make. All right, so the first project that we're gonna do is a little bit of a spin on just your basic photograph. So I have found the cheapest eight by 10 frame that I could find at the store, and I am going to remove the glass. I am going to be working on the glass itself. So I'm going to put the frame and the backing aside. I'm gonna put the glass aside, and I'm actually gonna use the little paper insert that comes with the frame to help because I am going to mark this up. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my center and I'm gonna be using these two inch vinyl uh, letters. So I wanna make sure that I leave room for them. So I think I want my letters to be about an inch and a half from the top, an inch and a half from the bottom. Typically when you're arranging artwork or anything in a frame, it looks a little bit nicer to the naked eye if you cheat it a little bit higher. So instead of centering this smack in the middle of this picture, I'm gonna tease it a little bit higher. So my first row is gonna go there. And then my second row is gonna come just a little below it, right here, great. So the paper underneath with my guidelines is going to be sort of a stencil for me to follow. And I am going to use my stickers and I'm gonna spell out the two locations that we visited this summer. And so for a word like New Hampshire, I know that the E is gonna be that center point and I am gonna work from the middle out to either side. I've already tested that these letters will come off. They say that they're permanent, but I placed a dash or a symbol that I wasn't gonna use elsewhere, and it peeled right off. I'm not gonna press it down super hard either. Now, one thing I didn't take into account was that the W was a little bit wider than the N. So you may have to unpeel and repeel the letters accordingly. I should have looked at that first, but I didn't. Now, this is gonna be Hamp-Shire. That should all fit. So Hamp, I like to have a piece of paper handy so I can sort of map it out. You always wanna count the letters that are in the packs. Some only have one of each letter, some have more. I have a couple packs. So I figured I would be okay with just about any word. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna take this outside and I am going to spray right over this with a can of white spray paint. You could use any color. I sort of like the idea of white because my pictures have quite a bit of color, but I'm gonna spray over this with white. I took the glass outside and I gave it a couple light coats of white primer spray paint. Doesn't matter what color you use. I like the flat white. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna peel off these letters. I need to explain that this is challenging for me because I am wearing press-on nails. They don't look like press-on nails, but they are press-on nails. And they're a little bit tricky for things like this. So bear with me. <laughs> I finally got all of the letters off, and I love it. I actually love how it looks with those letters nice and tight together. So the next step, I think I'm actually gonna use the same back piece, you remember, that I used for my template? And what I'm gonna do is I just have some postcards. These are postcards that we gathered from the trip. I'm just gonna lay them out. I have just some basic clear tape. And I'm just gonna tape them onto this guy again. So I'm using this as a template. Now you're not really gonna see these postcards. So honestly, it doesn't matter really at all what they look like. And you're probably thinking, well then what is the point of this project? 
I love the idea of knowing that I have these souvenir postcards. I'm not damaging them, so if I actually want to come and take these out, I can. You could even send the postcards back to yourself as sort of a journal of your trip. And then I'm just simply gonna put them under glass. Do you see how cool that looks? So imagine a gallery wall with pictures like this and underneath the glass, if you ever want to unearth them like a time capsule or all the postcards that you sent to yourself. And I think that would look really, really fun. So I'm simply going to replace this into my frame. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think and have a great day.